Hi, uh, in this video we are going to see about how to create a bottom navigation in Jetpack Compose. So actually uh, in Jetpack Compose uh, we can create a bottom navigation by ourselves manually, uh, custom uh, bottom navigation and we have to add all the swipe on the, all the things. But here we are going to see with scatfold bottom navigation. So we have a uh, uh, inbuilt uh, theme or uh, inbuilt compost called scatfold. Okay. Scatfold. So in this scatfold, we can add bottom navigation and top. Uh, scatfold is uh, nothing but it is some kind. Of, it is a one of the compose uh, library. It's a compose uh, class. So we can add uh, the prefill like top bar, bottom bar. So bottom bar, so bottom navigation, top bar, so tab view. Uh, so what is that? Uh, snack bar, host, floating action button, position. So so the, all those things are it will be inbuilt in this uh, scatfold okay so this is what um, scatfold would do so let's start at building uh, the bottom navigation in scatfold okay so bottom bar so inside bottom bar we can build uh, whatever the bottom bar we want to build okay so bottom navigation or whatever is it so then we, it is giving error because we have to pass a parameter called padding value so and we have to use the padding value value also so padding value so the thing is padding value is nothing but it will give the top bottom left right padding which is for the scatfold we are giving so those paddings it will give if we are want to use it it is fine if we are don't want to use it also that's a different one so uh, before going to before going to show you the bottom navigation i'll just create one dummy class compose class for uh, uh adding the screens okay screen one okay so in this screen one i am just showing the screen one inside padding value i am passing the padding value so if you take this i'm just adding the parameter over here okay so i just added the compose is ready so now we are going to add the bottom bar so for going to add a bottom bar we have to i'm going to create one bottom bar compose okay so in the with that bottom bottom bar it's like bottom bar navigation uh, it's a compose class uh, we are going to create compose function Compo composable okay composable function function bottom navigation bar okay so this is a custom function uh, and inside this we are going to build a bottom navigation okay so we have to pass some few parameters inside the bottom bar first let me will we will create one you can pass anything it's like you can pass list item images separate separately but i am going to create one data class for bottom navigation item bottom navigation item so inside item we can have title then we can have root route means string okay so out is also it's like a navigation route image vector okay we are passing image vectors also inside the bottom navigation so uh, this is a data class it is good so we are going to pass items it's a navigation item list of bottom navy bar item it's actually a correct one list of okay so inside this we have to we are going to pass current screen which means string it's a current screen route okay uh, then on item click it won't be this one this is string okay this is string so inside this we are going to build a loop for creating a navigation bar okay so first we will add this one as a navigation we'll create a navigation bar inside navigation bar we are going to create a loop for items dot for each okay items dot for each in the buffer each we we can end navigation item will be there i think navigation bar item this one okay so this is a navigation bar item so you can add this selected in the selected phase we can what is that okay in the selected we are going to equal the current screen uh, is equal to uh, this item screen okay this item is a item okay we will take the item 
so item current screen is equal to equal to item dot route okay the same thing and we can uh, add the on click in the on click on item click on item click we need to pass the route only same it is showing the suggestion so we need to pass the suggestion okay so in the icon uh, we can directly uh, pass that icon uh, here itself icon okay okay in the image vector item dot icon okay here uh, we'll just put like this okay so now the bottom navigation is done actually so we need to add this bottom navigation bar here okay bottom navigation bar so the current screen which we need to create is a rememberable remember straight is the mutable state of where current current route by remember okay mutable state of the starting will be home i just give the home so this current route will be the current route over here so then after this current route we have on click the on click came here right so we need to pass the list also we forgot there is no list okay so for that list we are going i'm going to create one list oh, it, I, it is oh, it is not uh, importing i don't know getter and setter actually we need to import the getter and setter by itself okay so once it is done we are going to create a list val items is equal to list of okay list of so in this list bottom navigation item okay so in this item we are first time going to add home okay correct so it's taking correctly nice okay so I added one item so like the same thing I can add more item like this literally will add some four items okay four items okay one is home another one is task notification notification pass not pass but profile 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 okay profile okay so we can change the icon itself just add uh, some random item this star over here this notification profile and it is loading okay just something for the profile okay so we added the list so I'm going to pass this list over here then uh, inside here also we have to do something the thing is when okay current route current route okay current route is this means i have to add okay the perfect one okay so now this is great so we don't need this comma okay so i'm going to defer i'm going to do uh, one small thing we didn't create a class small thing like means we are going to column okay inside the column i'm going to add modifier 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 okay modifier where is it not this one composite modifier dot fill max size okay after max size background
color okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the color from the parameters okay okay so i'm going to pass this color over here okay so then in the each screen we need to get the color we are going to pass each screen different different color then we can identify which screen we are navigating right green okay it's showing suggestion it's great blue showing suggestions okay yellow okay so four screens i'm having bottom navigation if i think we load this one it will show over here let's see uh i think uh, everything is good i added this bottom navigation as a base open navigation in bot here so we are good to go we can run the application it should load so this one this is the bottom navigation let's see i'll run and show you how it is okay yeah application is running so we can you can see here the bottom navigation over here the icons we added and the screens also okay so when we are clicking any 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 other item it's not moving so it is because i didn't connect the current route this to uh, here okay so that is a problem so we have to add current route to it okay so in this if I connecting the current this current route to this it it will now it should be uh, moving okay uh, from this to this uh, one screen to another screen and you can I can find over here uh, okay sorry uh, there is no text also text also not visible so let me figure out that why the text is not visible in that okay so we didn't add label okay label okay so text dot text dot item okay that is correct then one more option is there uh, so so here we have another one option called always show label okay so always show label it is true means it will show for all the bottom navigation item the icon okay labels so if we don't want to show like this only for the selected item means we can do like this okay only for the selected item means we can do it like this when if i when i am roaming it is only selected item the label will show okay now the application run again so if we click now it is showing the next bottom navigation and home icon tasks and navigation so if you want to change the background color or something else you can do it in this bar navigation if you want to curve the item you can do it in bottom navigation i like that if you want to uh, specify only one item need to be changed means you can customize so it is full of customization only you can do whatever you want the selected item so uh, it is full of completely customized you can do anything which you like okay so then uh, here we you can notice over here the thing is we can't swipe like our uh, real android bottom navigation we can't swipe over here so how to do the swipe thing in the bottom navigation and the tab view we will see in the next video okay stay tuned thank you